song and Matt wrote the lyrics about vampires and uh, you know, creatures of the night, kind of evil stuff. It's more of a dark song <clears throat> to go along with the heavier music. The music was actually written about 2007 when I was in a band in Texas and um, they're no longer together so when I was going through some of the riffs that I wanted to revisit that one stuck out as one I wanted to use. I showed it to Van and Matt and they liked it. We changed it around a little bit. Originally Matt was singing right along with the uh, chorus exactly what the guitar was doing. Uh, Jim Morris had the idea to really layer the vocals, make it more of an operatic big sound and we really liked it. I'm doing the first guitar solo in there and Gio Garaka guessed it on it and does the second guitar solo in there. And that's Child's Man. So the answer is a song that I wrote and it's it's essentially a funeral song um, without being depressing. Uh, and I, I, that wasn't my intent at all. It was sort of my way of expressing my feeling as somebody who has been left behind here on earth by, uh, by loved ones and giving them the proper send-off in an honorable, respectful way. I hope that that translates well in the music and uh, it's essentially what it's about. Dead Man's Plight is a song about you know, a dying man basically choosing to go into the light or down below and just uh, the kind of good and evil uh, struggle there. The music for that was written a couple of years ago. It was a... Uh, I'd written a bunch of songs uh, while I was in Iced Earth that never really saw the light of day, but when Matt and I started talking about working together, I showed him some of the stuff I'd written, and that song uh, was the one he said he really liked, so we decided to work with it. And uh, the middle section, a little interlude, I kind of got the um, inspiration, kind of the spinal tap part where they do the Stonehenge uh, portion there. And also got, you can hear the Iron Maiden Dance of Death influence in there. And uh, just other than that, it's just a really heavy song. That's the first one we decided to let everybody hear, Dead Man's Play. I Am is a song written about the uh, dangers and evils of preachers that can be a little overboard and you know, severely judge you and maybe they shouldn't be the ones doing the judging. It's probably our heaviest song. It was written with a seven string to bring it a little bit more low, deep, you know, dark sounding. The, uh, there's a lot of Slayer influence in there. You'll definitely hear that. And uh, some you know, Megadeth, Death Angel, some of the Old school thrash, classic bands, uh, you really uh, wanted to incorporate that in there. That's what I am. There's an old adage that goes, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And that's essentially what, the, uh, what inspired the song One-Eyed King. Um, and again, looking at our society, sometimes we can find ourselves following blindly um, folks that maybe we shouldn't. Read the lyrics, you'll get it. It's the one I can.